This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good morning, I'm Paige Holsey. This is your News 4 update. We start with breaking news from overnight. St. Louis police investigating a deadly shooting at or near a North St. Louis park. This is at Beckett Park at Page and Taylor in the Lewis Place neighborhood. The victim is a man at least one. This is at least one of two deadly shootings overnight in St. Louis. And on Saturday, there were multiple shootings in St. Louis with at least nine people wounded and one killed. We do have new information on a bizarre Molotov cocktail attack in St. Charles. Two suspects have been arrested. One is a 16 year old girl being held by juvenile authorities. The other suspect is this man, 23 year old Rashad Cotton. He's jailed in St. Charles County on charges of arson, assault, armed criminal action and resisting arrest. Hey, heads up, you might notice a fluorescent color in the Missouri River next week. If you do, don't be alarmed. Scientists are releasing a reddish dye just like you see here into the Missouri River starting tomorrow. It's an effort to study pallid sturgeon larvae. Researchers are trying to map their travel. That dye will be dumped into the river near Huntsdale. And then scientists will monitor the flow downstream. Those fish are critically endangered, so this work is really important to save them. Now here's Kristen Cornett with a quick look at your forecast. Seeing a lot more showers out. I'm sorry, more clouds out there today. Showers on the way. Here's what we're looking at. A mostly cloudy day with showers moving in a high of 79. Could hear a few rumbles of thunder as far as the timing goes with that. Uh, I think we're dry through at least lunchtime by mid afternoon. About a 30% chance of rain. The probability of rain really ramps up by the late afternoon and I would count on the rain by this evening. Rain likely again, perhaps a few rumbles of thunder as temperatures fall back through the 60s. Now tomorrow we have a severe weather threat. The Storm Prediction Center has put our entire area in a level two on our scale of one to five, with five being the highest level two threat. What we're looking at here is the potential for large hail and damaging winds. The timing on that is going to be after dark. We're talking uh, after 6 p.m., probably coming in from the northwest in the St. Louis area, very likely after nine o'clock. So evening hours and into the overnight. That's why we're calling Monday a weather alert day. That's a cold front coming through the area that's triggering those storms. So behind that, it is cooler for Tuesday with a high of 64. A few showers and thunderstorms possible that day. And then we dry out on Wednesday, another dry day on Friday with more rain back in the forecast for Thursday and Saturday.